Frankfurt, Museum of Money, Geldmuseum of the State Bank, German State Bank in Frankfurt. Very nice museum here and the best of it, free entrance for all. And it's located right aside of the state bank. Yeah, now we're going in. See you later. When you hear that a private bank can create money, you might think, why shouldn't I set up a bank myself? But don't be too hasty. What does it mean for the bank to create new book money through lending? If you are granted a loan, then the newly created money belongs to you and not the bank. So the bank owes you that money. This becomes quite clear when you transfer the money on your account to buy a car. Your bank then owes the car dealer or their bank the transferred money. If you don't pay back the loan, the bank is left sitting on the debt and makes a loss. This risk is the most important reason why banks are cautious when creating book money through lending. Aside from this, the banks are monitored by banking and financial supervision. If a bank runs too many risks, it not only jeopardizes its owner's capital, but its customers' deposits too. You can find more about banking supervision directly to your right. Monetary policy also keeps a close eye on how much book money the banks create. If it's too much or too little, it can jeopardize the primary objective of monetary policy, price stability. You will find information on monetary policy in the next room. like to exchange euros for dollars? The exchange rate has changed again. Yes, you did hear correctly. Exchange rates are never static, they change all the time. That's because the exchange rates for most currencies aren't fixed. They are determined on the foreign exchange market. That's a market where currencies are traded based on supply and demand. Here are the current exchange rates for some currencies against the euro. These rates show how much the euro costs in another currency. This is what's known as an indirect quotation. Then, there's the direct quotation, which is the opposite. It indicates how much we have to pay in euros for one foreign currency unit. If the exchange rate changes, the value of the currency either rises or falls. In other words, currency appreciates or depreciates. If you own euros, you'll be pleased when the euro appreciates. Because if the value increases, you can buy more units of a foreign currency. That means you can buy more things on your holiday. But if the euro depreciates, you should keep an eye on the exchange rate. 
Otherwise, your holiday could end up being more expensive than you planned. Und ich zahle mit dem Euro. Mein Name ist Bein und ich zahle mit dem Euro. Ja, ich bin mit Amelie und halte das mit Euro. Mein Name ist Erika und ich bezahle mit Euro. Mein Name ist Giuliano und mein Name ist Euro. Ich bin mit Euro. Ich bin mit Euro und ich bin mit Euro. Mein Name ist Hannah und ich bezahle für Euro in Euro. Moi, ich bin alle Luna und ich mag ein Euro. Mi chiamo Leonardo e pago in euro. E ho il Masha e ne so in euro. Mi nao l'en Carl Philip e ma maxa in euro adesso. Me l'enne Maria che è gop le ranno metà euro. E sam Maria se ho pago con euro. Ja sen de mi in placcio in euro. Me l'enne chi pari si ace più le ranno me euro. Bonjour, je m'appelle Loric e je paye un euro. Would you like to buy a postcard or a newspaper? They are from all over Europe. When it comes to culture, I value variety. But do you still remember when each country in Europe had its own currency? Whenever you went on holiday in Europe, you had to exchange money, work out what things cost, exchange rates changed, oh, it was such a hassle. You could hardly enjoy your holiday because you were too busy switching back and forth. European politicians had been thinking about a common currency in Europe for quite some time before they finally drew up the Maastricht Treaty, which they signed in 1992. It was in this treaty that the economic and monetary union was agreed upon. But it wasn't until 1999 that 11 countries introduced the euro as their common currency. At first only as book money, and then from 2002 also as cash. <laughs> from one day to another we all got new coins and notes. I can still remember for a while everybody converted prices back to their old currency in their head. But now, we've all got used to using the euro. Many other European countries have introduced the euro as their currency since then. The euro system is in charge of the common monetary policy. That's the European Central Bank and the central banks of all the euro area countries, including the Deutsche Bundesbank. They work together to ensure prices in the euro area remain stable. Nowadays, more than 300 million use the euro to pay. Can you believe it? And already millions of children have been born who have never known any other currency. 